guys, today we're going to look at an American classic. The Colt Frontier Scout 22 Long Rifle Single Action Revolver. Now these were designed in 1957 to compete with Ruger's Single Six, which came out in 1953. Unfortunately for Colt, they never quite took the share of the market they needed to keep making these, but they did make them until 1970, and then they came out with the new Frontier Scout and Peacemaker. They're, they're all discontinued now, but these are really incredibly made little pistols, and a classic that just keeps going up in value. This gun has been safety checked, which all guns should be. Half cock position is the way we check it. Loading gate closed. Now the Colt was known for four clicks, and four clicks spells Colt. Check this out. C O L and T. <laughs> Just a little trivia mainly. But this gun is considered on safe. It's the first position is against the firing pin. That's unsafe. One back is safe. Two is half cock. And then all the way back is ready to pull the trigger. But the one thing, you cannot actuate the trigger in any of these positions except fully extended. And as you can see, the sights are very low profile with a little dovetail here and then a blade sight at the front but these are very accurate little pistols you know back in the 1950s when these were introduced there was a huge love affair in America with the Old West and these were about 7 8 scale so they were pretty close to the original but not quite the same size a lot of fun to shoot 22 long rifle of course is very inexpensive now this also came with a 22 magnum cylinder as you can see the 22 long rifle is fluted the 22 magnum is not but these are very versatile great little gun pleasure to shoot now these single action revolvers cannot be carried fully loaded and remain safe and what I mean by that is this holds six rounds there needs to be one empty in front of the firing pin and then the five rounds that keeps this gun safe uh, the second version of the new uh, Frontier Scout did have a transfer bar here for safety like Ruger does which that makes it very safe but the early Rugers were also recommended to only hold five rounds in fact the the Colt uh, owner's manual itself said only five rounds in the chamber now if I have one thing that I like the single six over this gun beside the adjustable sights which I do like um, is the way to remove the cylinder and the only way you can do it is to unscrew this screw right here you have to un actually unscrew the screw and I've actually loosened this before just so it wouldn't take so long and then pull it to half cock and then you pull your your pin out the loading gate has to be open to remove the cylinder as well then you can clean, inspect, or change it into the 22 Magnum cylinder, which we have right here. Then to reassemble, loading gate of course has to be open. Now this pin will go deeper than it needs to. So what I'm going to show is you need to take this pin and go, because what happens is the screw will fit in that little notch. I don't, it'll fit into that little notch and that's what holds it together as you can see I've gone too deep it, it the screw won't even fit if you're in too deep so you just adjust it until it'll fit and then it goes right back in then you're back to where you need to be not terribly complicated but uh, I do like the Ruger system where you can just push and pull that pin out of course this is an extractor right here so when you're also to load the gun you have to be in half cock position to twirl the the cylinder and that's where you use the ejector rod 
to take out the spent shells. C O L T. <laughs> A beautiful little single action pistol. Never dry fire these either. Uh, dry firing can damage the firing pin on 22 mag on, on 22 rim fire, any rim fire. Now this particular model is the four and five eighths inch, but it also comes in a six inch and a seven and a half inch barrel. But this is great for what they call the pot gun. Uh, for if you're in camp, you can take this out and catch your uh, your meal for the evening. Uh, but they do have an, an all steel barrel cylinder and then the frame is an alloy frame. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic.